help plan for your activities in the coming days. Here are your short-term and long-term forecasts for your region. Here's one of your favorite local forecast tunes from 2003. Stay tuned for more in-depth coverage of today's weather headlines. To upload your photos and videos, visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. This local forecast has been brought to you by your local insurance broker displaying this symbol. Your best insurance is an insurance broker. Force of Nature is brought to you by Case IH. Your harvest data shouldn't be harvested. Ask your Case IH dealer about AFS Connect. It's the Thanksgiving weekend and this is Force of Nature Extended. A brief but intense system caught Montrealers by surprise this week. Hail and rain lashed the city with over 25 millimeters falling. Some streets looked as though it had just snowed. But winter continues to get closer as the days advance. We're seeing more pictures like this. Up to 10 centimeters fell on Thursday morning and visibility was severely reduced as wind gusts of 60 kilometers an hour caused whiteout conditions. Environment Canada confirmed Ontario's 19th tornado of the season this week. The incident occurred Monday as major winds ripped through the community of Sheffield. The weather agency has rated the twister as an EF1 with wind speeds of about 150 kilometers per hour. Luckily, no injuries were reported. Many cities in the south of France resembled a raging river, swamping buildings and trapping vehicles. Since the beginning of September, the rain has rarely stopped. Roughly 600 millimeters has fallen in that time. Typhoon Panpone produced waves up to five meters high and drenched Japan with lots of rain. But unfortunately, another typhoon is on the way this weekend. This installment of Around the World in 60 Seconds takes us across Canada. First, to Ontario's Muskoka region, where we get a drone's eye view of the fall leaves. Fall has barely begun, and there has already been snow in parts of the country. Here's an early taste of winter driving. Don't forget to change your tires. A recent storm covered Whitehorse, Yukon in 10 centimeters of snow, made a mess of traffic. 
It was a very different story in Winnipeg. Mike Poirier got a front row seat to the end of this rainbow. Sadly, there was no pot of gold. Rough neighborhood. In Alberta, this chipmunk was so excited by all the attention, he just couldn't help himself. Maybe an apology is in order. Finally, it was Have Food, Will Travel in Emma Lake, Saskatchewan, and the struggle was likely worth it. If you'd like to see your videos in Around the World, upload them to theweathernetwork.com. The best ones will appear in next week's edition. Thank you very much, Kim. I have to tell you, I'm not ready for those winter driving scenes just yet. Today across the country, brisk conditions through parts of Saskatchewan, Manitoba. We do have unsettled weather for the coast of BC, very quiet and lots of sun through eastern Canada. Tomorrow for Thanksgiving Sunday, continued showers out west, fair conditions through Ontario and Quebec and the Maritimes, some heavy rain for eastern Newfoundland, including the Avalon, upwards of 35 millimeters expected. Now let's take a look ahead for eastern Canada to start, then we'll head out west. High pressure dominating for much of eastern Canada as we head toward the Thanksgiving Monday, showers for parts of Ontario, and then midweek heavy rain for southern Quebec, including in the Montreal area, then all that rain will continue to move eastward and become an end of the week story for Atlantic Canada. That's the East Coast story. Now let's slide out west. Starting on Sunday, again, we just have really a storm parade for the coast of BC, just low after low crashing against the shore, bringing a lot of rain. In fact, Vancouver starting Tuesday through to next weekend, rain expected each and every day. So make sure you have the rain gear on hand. For your Thanksgiving Monday across the country, this is what we're expecting. I mentioned some rain through parts of Ontario and stormy conditions out west, right in the middle of the country, though the prairies, lots of sunshine. Get out there and enjoy it. It is Thanksgiving weekend, so what do you have planned? What are you thankful for this season? Let me know on Twitter at Mike G. Arsenault. This weather segment has been brought to you by your local insurance broker displaying this symbol. Your best insurance is an insurance broker.